Well, the bishop told us that we ought to have church services or activities. Our first thought was, how do we bring our St. Viator family together in prayer? This virtual communal prayer is a way to connect all of us while also maintaining our social distancing. Our scriptural passages today focus on the theme of hope. The letter to the Hebrews says, Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. The prophet Isaiah assures us, Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. The prophet Jeremiah said, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. In Psalm 33, we hear, May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. And Psalm 71 says, As for me, I will always have hope. I will praise you more and more. In his letter to the Romans, St. Paul wrote, Hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. And in that same letter, he also wrote, Hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. Hello, everyone. Part one today will be a conversation with a stranger. Part two, we're going to move to the Easter season. And then, of course, what about us? A few weeks ago, I was in a medical office building. When I finished my appointment, I'm walking towards elevators. Four women are in front of me on the way to the elevator, too. As I'm walking, I decided I'll let them go first. Elevators are not designed for social distancing, and I had plenty of time, easy for me to do. The elevator arrives, and three of the four get on the elevator. One holds back. And she says to me the same thing I'm saying to her, we'll wait our turn. To the other three, go ahead. So now we're waiting for the next elevator to come. Keep in mind, I'm casually dressed. Open collar shirt, I left my halo at home. It'd be impossible to know that I'd be a priest. We get on the elevator, and the woman says to me, I'm a cancer survivor. I survived breast cancer. Now this virus, and I'm worried. I don't go to church. I'm not a spiritual person. I do not pray. And with this, the elevator door opens through the lobby. We're walking out of the parking lot, keeping our social distancing. I introduced myself. Told her to see just a few miles away. Call me. I'd be happy to listen. She stops and looks at me and says, What are the odds of meeting a Catholic priest on an elevator on a Wednesday afternoon? Then she walked away. All the way home, I kept thinking of that. What are the odds? And since that conversation with thinking of this woman and keeping her in prayer, of course, she's not the only person who's worried these days. Lots of people are worried. Worried about their health, health of their families, their loved ones, their friends. Worried about their job and will ends meet. And I don't want to minimize those worries in any way. What do we do at times like this? We do what we always do, the best we can with what we got, trusting in God to help us along the way. Our our virus season is also taking place in the Easter season. During the Easter season, it pushes us to look backwards what God has done for us through Jesus Christ. Easter pushes us to look forward to our future with God. So during Easter and every season, we walk with hope in our step and faith in our future. At least we do that during normal times, and these are not normal times. These days, I think worry is in abundance and hope is in short supply. But then again, I've been talking to parishioners, and I've heard them say, we're making masks so others will have them. And they say that with hope in their step. Some have told me that I now take turns buying groceries around the neighborhood, so not everybody goes out all the time. Hope in their step. Just yesterday, speaking to a good friend, he's on his way to Three Square, 
to help put food into cars for those in need, hope in his death. All this reminds me of what I've already known and I've, I've shared with you before. When we share our faith with others, we find faith and hope for ourselves. When we share our faith and hope with others, we so often find faith and hope for ourselves. As always, all of you and your families are the prayers of our parish staff and the prayers of all the Viatorians here. May God bless you and your families. Please respond, our hope is in the Lord. For those infected with the coronavirus, that they may be healed, we pray. For the first responders and healthcare workers, that they may be graced with courage, stamina, and protection from the virus, we pray. For those who are separated from a loved one who is infected with the virus, that all may feel God's loving presence, we pray. For all who are experiencing financial difficulties, that they may find relief, we pray. For the sick and dying members of our parish community, that they may feel God's presence, we pray. For the needs of our fellow members of St. Viator, we pray. You know, Almighty God bless you and your families, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.